Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create some movements with your hero or character or any other element with ActionScript 2. This will be our hero or our object that we're going to be using inside of Flash. And make sure that when you select uh, File, New, that you make sure you go to ActionScript 2 if you plan on writing an ActionScript 2. What I want to do is first I created a content layer which is going to hold all of our content. Right now, I only have our hero inside of a content and also you want to make another layer which is action script 2 which will hold all of our action script if you don't know how to make a new layer just go down here to the new layer button and a new layer will appear to rename that layer just double click and you should be able to do it now we want to create some actions the way that we want to do that is by selecting the frame in which we want to put the actions into and going into our actions frame and starting to create the actions but before we do any of that once you've created your movie clip you want to make sure that you name your movie clip by giving it an instance name. What you do is you select your movie clip, go to the properties, and in the properties it should say instance name. Give it a name such as hero or anything like that. Make sure it just, I would just stick to alphanumeric. Now that our movie clip is named, let's go into the actions and start coding it. Now my movie clip, I give it an instance name of hero. So anytime we try to communicate with, we're going to use that name, hero for the movement we don't want it to stop or we don't want to move it to a position only one time we want to continue to do this this is why we're going to use on enter frame so this function every time it enters a frame it does the action on on enter frame equals function parentheses open close parentheses curly brace open close curly brace now we have an on enter frame function so anytime we enter the frame whatever's what we put inside this function it will happen so one thing we can just quickly do is we can write hero dot underscore x is equivalent to 200 so what this command will do every time you enter a frame flash will make sure that the heroes x coordinate is 100 and it's running at 24 frames a second so this command is going to happen 24 times but it only moves to 200 so you're not going to see anything other than it kind of being in the middle of the screen I could show you but you get the idea what we want to do is we want to continuously add to it one way you can do that is by putting plus plus so what will happen is the heroes the hero dot underscore x or this x value from left to right will move one pixel see he's, he's moving not very fast just one pixel at a time it's happening 24 times a second so he's moving 24 pixels every second or we could put minus minus and the hero will move in the opposite direction that's great and all that we can subtract it by one but what if we want to subtract it by more than one well there is a way to add and subtract it more than one and we're using operators plus equal and then you give it the number that you want it to move by so plus equal five that means it'll move five pixels so that's five times twenty four yeah it's, it's more than one pixel so oh, I kinda ran away so let me refresh it again so you can see that he's moving a lot more faster a lot more faster <laughs> let's go back in here alright we have our hero moving and also we can affect the hero's y value hero dot underscore y plus equal two now I'll do two for both of them so you saw the hero he just kinda went down I'll restart it again yep hero's going down alright cool if you put plus your hero will go in the downward directions downward direction down <laughs> The downward direction and if you put minus with the y value your hero will go up so now that we know that this is the basics of how to move our character we want to put in some user interaction and let's do that let's turn these into user input commands so what I'm going to do is write a statement an if statement an if statement tests if a condition is true or false and if that condition is true then it will execute the code in other words if whatever's in the parentheses is true is going to do whatever's below it 
it's all about what condition can I test. I want to say key dot is down parentheses close parentheses then the key code key dot now it gives us uh, some key codes to use I'm gonna use the up and you just have to be mindful of how you spell things pay close attention to that so I'm gonna just change that to minus now this is the condition this is the condition that's tested if key dot is down and what key are you looking for? The up key. Then I want you to perform this code here. And that's how it works. And I'm just going to remove this X right now. So if I press up, then my hero should move up. So let's test it out. And press up. And yes, my hero moves up. And this is controlled by the user. All right, let's copy and paste this. Because pretty much when you write code, you don't really have to write too much. It's minus to go up, then it should be plus to go down. And the only thing we need to change is down, the down value. So now I'm able to move it left, I mean up and down. So let's, tr let, we might as well just throw in some uh, left and right. I'm just going to copy that, paste it, go left. We want to subtract it. The only difference is we're doing it from the x value and right right and we want to change it from to the x value so now let's try let's see what's going on here the magic that's right now I have full movement now my uh, user can go anywhere he or she wants now let's look at these numbers we have two 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 alright that's good and dandy but it's better to set variables so you don't have to like say if I wanted to change the speed it'd be really hard because I have to go back and change everything so I'm gonna make a variable called speed speed I'm just gonna copy the speed to everywhere or anywhere I see is two rather and a variable is gonna hold our uh, value so I'm just gonna go behind the on enter frame return a few times and put speed speed is equal to three let's say and now everything should work now my speed is equal to three and if I so chose to I, maybe if I press a power up I can change the speed value now we did how, how to use user interaction and we used it with the keyboard let's do something a little more let's say that the heroes x hero dot underscore x is equal to x or is oops it's x under it's underscore x mouse oh boy I'll just copy and paste that because I'm just gonna have to change the x values to y values y y and you can see that uh, I don't really need this speed anymore now wherever my mouse goes my um, my movie clip follows or my hero let's look at something else now one thing that you might want to do is you want to hide the mouse because if you're doing some sort of game or whatever you want to put in a mouse dot hide and this will hide the mouse from being shown so now I don't know if you see it through the tutorial but now the mouse is hidden so that's our first part of movements in ActionScript 2 and this was the basics of it so I hope you enjoyed it if you like any of my movies make sure you rate subscribe and comment also visit my website on interflash.blogspot.com and if you're really impressed by my tutorials and they helped you out click on an ad or two to put a few pennies in my pocket thanks for watching on enter flash